I know this is overexposed. Can't do anything about it, I'm sorry. All right, so what happens when you want a new phone because your old and outdated Android phone is buggy and not working properly? So you Google, maybe I want an iPhone. Then you go to eBay, you search up iPhone, but you don't want the five because it's too small, but you don't want the seven because you don't want to dish out five to 600 pounds. So you settle on the six, you only get it, and then you realize it doesn't work. Okay, maybe that's a little bit dramatic, but overall I need to be talking about the iPhone 6 and its touch disease. Just before I go into this video, I'm not an Apple hater. I really like Android phones, I really like Apple phones, I, as a reviewer, am not biased at all. I really like both sides, so I'm not a fanboy. I know a lot of my subscribers are fanboys, and that's okay, but this video is coming from an unbiased person. And I also know that not all iPhone 6s and 6 Pluses have this problem, and I know that there are other iPhones that have this problem, and some Android phones have a similar problem, although it's not the same thing. And even my iPhone 5, which is now my mother's iPhone 5, has one of the symptoms of touch disease. Okay, so what is touch disease? Well, touch disease is is a problem with iPhone, specifically the 6 and the 6 Plus mainly, that is down on a chip level on the main board. It's not to do with the screen, it's not to do with the digitizer, and it's where you kind of touch the screen and then it does something funny or you don't touch the screen and it just acts weirdly by itself. I have been a victim of this when I had my iPhone 6. I did have touch disease on there before it was really known as touch disease. So I sold the phone broken for like 300 pounds. Everyone thought it was just a dodgy digitizer. And then obviously some poor bloke actually it has touch disease so yeah but there's a dodgy flicker at the top and i'll try and get photos or videos of this there's a dodgy flicker at the top of the screen or this weird like pattern at the top which everyone thought was just some weird digitizer problem turns out that's actually one of the symptoms of this and can give you it could mean that you have to touch disease on your phone also random erratic behavior where your phone just does things without you even doing anything and where like you'll do something like you'll hold the phone in your hand show someone a photo and then they'll like it will like swipe through and then you're like oh what are you looking at my photos for but it hasn't it's just the phone doing it and it's really weird and it's really annoying because your phone will like scroll it might like a photo maybe maybe you're stalking someone's instagram and you, it double taps it and it wasn't you and you can just blame your phone no but things like that you know what i mean like just those random things that it can do and it, it is your phone it is not you being stupid or you going oh am i going crazy did i just click that like and forget that i clicked the like it's something like that and it, it is really frustrating and if you're spending between i believe iphone 6s go for anywhere between 200 and 300 pounds if you're spending that amount of money on a phone you kind of expect it to work and not to just completely die as soon as you get it, which is something that a lot of people do have problems with. On the other hand, of course, sometimes they don't break, and a lot of people, a lot of my friends, still have iPhone 6s and 6 Pluses without any of the touch disease happening, so it is a very hit or miss thing. Now, Apple has come out and said that it denies any issues with the phone and just says that customers must have dropped their phone. There must be an issue with that. It must be the digitizer. They don't accept the fact that this is a problem, which is silly and it's wrong and in my opinion, I don't agree with it. I think that they should own up to an issue or at least you know one of their subdivisions should open uh, should open up to the issue and just say, yes, this is a problem. We will replace your phone or we will charge us. Even if they had to charge you to fix the phone for you, even if you had like some kind of Apple warranty or whatever, the fact that they didn't accept that it's their problem is really the thing that gets me because, okay, some people, you know, the company doesn't want to, it doesn't want to shell out money on an older phone which it no longer supports. But at the same time, owning up to a problem is one of the main things you should do as a company in my opinion. I, I, I don't know, maybe you guys have different, please talk in the comments about it, but in my opinion, they should at least have owned up to the problem. So it's to do with the touch interface chips on the logic boards, which is the Apple Apple's way of calling it a, a motherboard. Essentially, they just call it a logic board. And it is, it's just a chip on there. So it's not to do with the actual screen. If you wanted to replace it, you'd kind of have to replace the whole phone, which again is kind of silly. It's almost like, well, why don't you just replace it with a, with a phone that works? So if you're gonna go with an iPhone 6, go with a 6, S or 6S Plus or go with the 5 or 5S. Apple will fix this issue as in give you a new phone for $149 
uh, which is just ridiculous to be honest. $149. I don't know what, what phones you can get in the US for $149, but that's roughly the same amount of money as an LG G3, a Moto X2, a Nexus 5, maybe even Nexus 6 if you're lucky. I don't know. It's not just the pricing comparison in the US. You also get technology a lot cheaper than we do in the UK. So what would I say? Well, I, I'd say you really should avoid the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. If you're, get, if you're getting given one for free or something, then that's fine. But just just know that there can be quite a few issues with it and my iPhone has had it in the past I actually have an S7 Edge now so it's not a problem but I've had the you know I've had the 4 the 5 the 6 the 6s plus and the 7 and the 6 was the only one to really give me issues the iPhone 4 I broke because I smashed it against the wall the iPhone 6 broke because of touch disease the iPhone 5 I gave to my mom it still it still worked the iPhone 6s plus I sold to get a G7x and I believe the 7 I sold to get a Pixel because I was reviewing it at the time. It wasn't my personal phone. So really the only iPhone I've had a problem with is the iPhone 6. Again, the 6 and the 6 Plus were the, the two phones that at the beginning of the, of the video I explained were kind of the bigger phones, the first bigger phones. And so if you're looking for a cheap iPhone that isn't minute, you kind of go for the 6 and the 6 Plus, which is a real problem because obviously they can have this touch disease issue. Now... What I want to know from you guys is what, one, have you had this problem? Two, how did you rectify? How did you fix the problem? And three, what kind of videos would you like to see from me in terms of these kinds of issues? Would you like me to speak out about different phone issues? Or do you reckon the LG boot loops and the iPhone's touch disease are the only two that we really need to talk about? Please let me know in the comments. And we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers, so please do subscribe if you're new around here. Please do like and dislike depending on your thoughts. And please comment anything that you want to talk about in the comments. As you can probably see, I'm putting a lot more work into the YouTube videos nowadays, so hopefully everything's kind of up and running and working perfectly. Hopefully your iPhone works perfectly, because I don't want anyone to have a broken iPhone, let's be honest. It's not good when your phone breaks, because you think it's either an expensive replacement or it's an expensive fix. Either way, you're spending a lot of money, and whether you're an iPhone fan or an Android fan, I don't want that happening to you. So, my name's been Ryan Thomas with Feltech. Hopefully I've informed you a little bit, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.